I think we're live. Hey, Dr. Paley. Hey there, Brad. Hey there, Brad. So, uh, we're on Doc Talk Live via Facebook. Okay. And okay. Uh, technology is not my uh, strong suit. So, hopefully, uh, I'm sitting with Seth, one of my. Uh, one of my associates who's helping me. Thanks, Seth. <laughs> so uh, I, I want people to be able to uh, call in questions or stuff like that. I don't know how how uh, that will go, but I hope that will happen. Um, okay. okay. So let me give you a little bit of background, Dr. Paley. Um, first of all, my guest is Dr. Paley. He is in South Florida, um, and he specializes in limb lengthening. And... Um, uh, I don't know, several months ago, maybe almost a year ago, a very good friend of mine uh, from college, fraternity brother of mine, says that he's taking his stepdaughter to see you. And he he is just saying, oh, my God, you've got to interview this Dr. Paley. He has revolutionized limb lengthening. And I, I never really thought much about it. And then and then I started working on my show even more, Doc Talk Live. And and Christy, who works with me, she says, you know, you really need to talk to Dr. Paley. He is he has revolutionized limb lengthening. And I'm like, I want to talk to this guy. And and then about a month ago, I called my friend back up and I said, Tell me about Dr. Paley. And um, he 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 said that just going in your waiting room is just people come from all over the world to to um, get evaluated to get their their limbs lengthened by you and that in that the, the the stuff that you're doing is is basically life changing and he, he says just sitting in your waiting room you meet some of the most incredible people with the most incredible stories of of being like born with really deficient limbs, they were going to cut the limb off. That was the only way to salvage the limb. And 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 he told me about one young woman who is now playing um, varsity soccer, you know, and is is excelling in sports. So that's sort of where I've come into this. That 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 me being trained as a physiatrist and orthopedist. My recollection of the Elizaroff procedure is, is it's incredibly painful and not something someone would go into lightly and that somehow you have you have really revolutionized that particular aspect of orthopedics. So I want you to jump in now and, and tell me a little bit about Dr. Paley and what you do. Fair? Sure, sure, sure. Well, Brad, well, I, Brad I've, been, I've been involved in the field since 1986. And, and uh, you know, I, I, you know, I finished my residency, my residency in 85, and, and, and I went over, I went over um, to Europe, to Europe uh, and at the time uh, to the Soviet to Union, Soviet Union and, to and to Italy, Italy which, which were the two countries where this was, where being, this was being done. And I, I studied there, studied there uh, before, uh, anyone, before anyone even really, even really recognized, recognized uh, this, uh, this you know the advances, you know, the advances that were that going, were going on. on. Uh, they originated, uh, they originated with a guy named Zara, who's, Zara, who's a, a Soviet, a Soviet uh, orthopedic, uh, surgeon, orthopedic actually, surgeon, actually based somewhere based in western, somewhere in western Siberia. Siberia. And you and can imagine, you can imagine during, during the Cold, during the Cold War, War how challenging, how challenging it was to get a visa. A visa. Uh, I, uh, I um, being a Canadian, being a Canadian, uh, uh, I think that I made think that made it possible for me to do that. Probably would have been hard. Would have been harder than But I was living. I was living in Canada at the time. I trained in, I trained Toronto. in Toronto, and, uh, and I, went uh, there, I went over there on my own dime, uh, my own dime in 19, 1986, and, and you know, spent six, you know, months, spent six between, months between, you know, you know Russia, Russia and Italy, and Italy, other parts, and of other parts of Europe, Europe limb lengthening, limb lengthening, and, uh, and uh, deformity correction. Deformity correction. Um, um, and when I and when I came, back, came back in 87, in 87 I actually started, started Applying these applying methods. These methods. Uh, initially in uh, Canada, initially in where, Canada I was, where I was uh, working at the working hospital, hospital for sick children, for sick children in, Toronto. in Toronto. And then and I then was, I was actually waiting actually waiting <laughs> waiting for my green for my green card um, um, to move down to move down to pick up a pick job at the job of Maryland, of Maryland um, um, in, in, in November in November 1987. 1987. So I already so I already <laughs> by the end of by the end of I'd already had quite a large number of cases in in Canada in Canada and then and then Doing started this doing this in the United States. States, States, States. So, so that's, that's really, really when, when 
this, this stuff, stuff hits, hits the United, United States. States. And um, we, we brought, brought Professor, Professor Lazar up in and, and some of the Italians in, in, um, in, in November 87 for the first, first conference ever held in the United, United States, States on this subject. subject. And, and, and then since, since then, then, there have been uh, literally hundreds, hundreds, if not thousands, of, thousands of conferences, conferences on, on this subject, subject uh, in, in the United, United States. States. Uh, all, all the initial, initial ones were organized by, by me. me. Um, but, but my, my practice, practice, you know, being the first, first kid on the block, block to do this kind of work, work. Um, there was um, really, really no, no one else, else uh, at that, that time. Uh, patients, uh, even, even though I was a 30-year-old, uh, you know, young, young uh, surgeon, surgeon. Uh, patients, patients came from, from all over to see, see me. Not, Not only from, from all over the United, United States, States and in Canada, Canada, but also, also from all over the world. world. And, um, you know, yeah, although, although one wouldn't, wouldn't think I merited a, 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 a international type, type of, or national referral, referral type, type practice, practice with medical, medical tours, tours coming, coming from all over, 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 it started, started way, way back, back then. then. Can, you, and, uh, can you describe the, the patients that are coming to you, past, present, future? Sure. sure. Um, so so the, the, um, the, the patients, patients are, are coming to me. To me um, are um, patients who, well, well for, initially there were, there were the patients that were offered, offered no other alternative, alternative except, except for an amputation. amputation. So these, these were patients that either from, from birth or from, from trauma or from infection or from previous surgery uh, and, and a wide variety of other causes. Uh, ended, ended up with a large leg length, leg length difference or severe deformities that couldn't, couldn't be straightened out. out. And, and then the only out option they were given, given was to cut the leg off and put on, on a prosthetic. prosthetic. Uh, you know, yeah. like the, the, the most famous such story was Oscar Pistorius, right? right? Right. You know, who ran, ran in the London Olympics. Olympics. Um, he, he had, had both, both his feet cut off, off or condition called fibrillar hemilia, a condition where nowadays I can reconstruct the foot and leg and uh, restore a patient to walking, running, running doing sports, sports. Uh, which, which was not possible probably um, when, when he was born. How do you and do that? How do you do that? So there's, there's different, different aspects of, of of the, the answer, answer of how. how. There's the stuff that, that came from, from the original Russians, Russians which, which is how we lengthen, lengthen the legs. legs. And, and then, then there's all, all the innovation that's come actually mostly from, from the work I've done, done over the last 30 years, years uh, which, which has complemented that. that. So, so I, I, I call, call it progress, progress in and, and from limb lengthening. In limb lengthening is kind of, you know, what we'll learn the Russians, and then then from limb lengthening is kind of all the byproducts came out of this as we started meeting all kinds of problems that were, were never, never previously addressed. So like, like those feet, feet like Oscar Pistorius's fibular amelia feet, feet, previously nobody, nobody had taken an interest, interest because... because Everyone, Everyone knew you just, just cut it off, off and you put on, on a prosthetic. prosthetic. So why, why even be interested, interested in the subject, subject of how, how to undo, undo what, what didn't need, need to be undone? Exactly, okay. exactly. exactly. So, so, so let's, let's start, start with the limb lengthening. lengthening. So, so what, what Professor Lazaroff initially discovered, discovered uh, and it wasn't, wasn't only him, him. I mean, actually, limb lengthening, lengthening surgical limb lengthening goes back to the turn of the 20th century. And, and they, they just, just wasn't, wasn't done, done very scientifically for, for about 50, 50 years. years. Uh, but, but people were breaking bones and, and putting, putting some type, type of contraption on them, them and, and pulling, pulling them apart gradually, gradually and, and lengthening legs. legs. Especially, Especially for polio, for birth defects, defects uh, for, for trauma, trauma, things like, like that. Uh, not, not in a very, very scientific way. way. Along, Along comes Lazaroff in about 1951. And... Studies, studies the science, science of, of it, and, and uh, actually, actually in, in Russian, Russian publishes, publishes how this is done. done. Just we, we were, were in the dark, dark on it, it until, until the 1980s. 1980s. Okay. okay, and then, and then that's, that's when the Italians and myself all went over, went over there to kind of, kind of learn, learn how this is done. done. And what does our show is that, is that because, because bones are living, living substance, when, when you break it and slowly pull it apart. 
So when so you when break, you break the, bone, the bone, it starts, starts making make new bone, bone to heal, heal itself, right? right? That's, that's, that's how, how fractures, fractures heal. heal. They make, they make new, new bone, and they, and they kind of make, make an envelope of new bone, bone around, around them. And, and they, they generate, gener- you know, and that, that glues, glues the bone together, together with, with new bone. bone. Bone's, Bone's the, the only substance that heals, heals without, without scar, scar tissue. tissue. Okay? okay? So, so bone, bone heals, heals with bone, bone which is not scar. Scar is basically fibrous tissue. You see it on your skin, but your muscles, your tendons, your... Uh, everything, everything, nerves, nerves, everything, everything heals, heals with scar tissue. tissue. Bone, bone heals, heals with, with bone. bone. Okay. okay. Leaving, Leaving no, no scar. scar. And, and what, what he showed, showed is that if you pulled the bone, bone broke the bone, bone apart, apart very, very slowly, slowly, you could, could trick, trick the healing, healing process, process to, to make, make enough, enough bone, bone to fill, fill in, in the gap, gap that you made. made. As, long as long as that, that gap, gap was less than, than a millimeter, millimeter, which is a 25th of an inch a day. day. Okay. okay. So you, so you could, could pull, pull the bone, bone apart gradually, gradually every, every day, day up, up to a millimeter, millimeter and, and make, make new bone. bone. And eventually, and eventually you'd, you'd end up with a, a, a column of new bone, bone that would we grow, grow in, in the gap. Now, now uh, let's, let's look, look at this device, device here. here. So this, this is, this is um, kind, of kind of a modern, modern version of the Lizarov device. device. The original Lizarov device, device was a ring, ring fixer. It was a it was ring, ring around, around the bone. And that, that and then, and then it, was it was connected with, with wires, wires, which are like, like these things, things here. here. Or... The, the Western, Western addition to it was adding, adding these big, big fat half, half pins, pins in, in there. there. And, and connecting, connecting it to a ring, ring you'd, you'd have, have these rods between, between the two, two rings, rings, and you'd, you'd turn, turn the knobs, knobs here, here, and, and a screw-like device, device would expand, expand and, and you'd, you'd pull, pull the bone, bone apart, apart, and you can see the gap here between the bone ends. And the bone would separate so that you would end up with length. And that would fill in with new bone. Okay. okay. How painful that is that? Well, so, so the, the pain, pain is really not related, not related to the lengthening. As long as, long as the lengthening rate, rate is kept, kept slow, slow. The, pain the pain was more related, related to these pins. pins. Um, and if, if you mastered how to put, to put these pins, pins in, in, it wasn't, it wasn't that, that painful. painful. And, in and in fact, fact you know, a lot, a lot of people would say it's a really, really painful, painful thing, thing, but they weren't doing it that well. They were creating all kinds of trauma to the skin and the muscles and so on. And one, and one of the things, things I learned, I learned by, by, by visiting Lazar was, was that, that um, you know, there, there, was, uh, there was a, a trick, trick to doing all this, this uh, successfully. successfully. There, was there was a way, way to do this, this in a way, way that it wouldn't, wouldn't cause, cause as much, much pain. pain. So, so honestly, honestly, for 30, 30 plus years, years although, although I'm not, I'm not saying, saying it's not painful, painful the, the amount of pain involved has been limited. In the, in the hands of experts, experts like, like myself, myself and so on. Because it, no, it looks brutal. Of course. Of course. But, but think, think of this, think of this, this as the race, race on your, your leg. leg. This, this is the tibia bone. That, that, that would be the knee joint, joint here. here. Um, think, think of this as the race, race on your leg, your leg that doesn't, doesn't come, come off. Because it's bolted, bolted on. on. Okay? okay? That's, That's the way to think about it. And the soreness from the pins going through the skin goes away in a week or two. So... As, as long, long as you, as you don't, don't lengthen, lengthen too quickly, quickly there's, there's not, not that much pain. pain. I'll, tell I'll tell you what, there is some discomfort. So a so very, very important, important part, part of this is to do physical, physical therapy. therapy. And, and the physical, physical therapy, therapy that you do every day, day it's, it's kind of like, like you know, when, when you're, you're working, working out in the gym, gym and you're stretching, stretching sore muscles. muscles. It's, it's, I call that good pain. When you're stretching those sore muscles, you know, it's that kind of pain. Like stretching your Achilles tendon after you worked out, you know how stiff it is and how sore it is. But, but it's, it's not, not, it's not, not an intolerable kind of pain. pain. The pain, the pain we, we actually, actually all alter ourselves through if we work out and, out and so on. on. It's, it's that, that kind, kind of discomfort. And it's, and it's only during the time of therapy. therapy. Most, Most patients, patients are not, not having, having that much pain all through, through the day. day. Like, like any surgery, things are a little more sore at night just because you have no sensory input. And you know, you notice some discomfort more. But let's come back to this process. So it started off with these ring devices. And, and then, then it evolved into similar devices, devices that do the, do the same, same thing. thing. So, so, for example, this device, device which, which is, is uh, called a monolateral external, external fixator. fixator. So this, so this device, device, instead, instead of, being of being all around, around the, limb, the limb, goes, goes on, on one side, side of the limb. And again, and again you've got, you got these pins bolted, bolted from the outside, outside going, going through the muscle, muscle bone, bone, and so on. on. And, and then as you turn... A knob over here, here this, this thing, thing lengthens. lengthens. <coughs> and I, I, I failed, failed to bring, bring a wrench, wrench here, so I can't, can't actually adjust, adjust this. So, so did you invent this new device? So, so there, there have been, been many, many new devices. devices. 
the, the two, two that, that I, I just held, held I, I have to have invented and created, created a company, company to, to, to manufacture, manufacture them and, and, and so on, and they're FDA approved. And, and these, these are, are the latest and greatest, greatest external, external fixers. fixers. The, the first, first one, one uh, uh, the circular, circular one here, here um, is called, called the Orthex ORTHEX frame. frame. And, and uh, uh, we, we just sold, sold that technology to uh, Orthopediatrics, which, which is a big orthopedic company, company uh, that, that specializes, specializes especially in children, in children although those devices use used in adults, adults as well. As well. Um, and, and this, this device, device has, has the advantage is that not, not only, only is, is it now a system where, where you adjust, adjust these, these rods, but, but we, we actually enter, enter all, all these parameters, parameters into the computer. computer. And there, there are six, six of these, what we call struts. And, and the computer, computer then tells, tells us how to, how to adjust, adjust this. So, so this, we, we can move, move these bones, bones any any direction, direction in space. space. So we, we correct, correct the twisted, twisted bone, bone of any magnitude, magnitude greater, greater than 90 degrees than the, the bone. bone. We, we, we can correct length. length. We, we can correct, correct uh, really, really anything, anything that um, involves, involves deformity, deformity or, or length, length of the bone. bone. And, and so, so these, these devices, devices are, are kind, kind of the most, most advanced, advanced, technologically advanced device. And then this particular one, one is the easiest, easiest one, one to use, use, the easiest one to teach doctors, easiest, easiest one for patients to use, of a circular, circular external, external fixator. fixator. So this, so this is, is called, called a, obviously, a circular, circular you can see, see, circular, circular external, external fixator. fixator. The, the other one, this is called the dry rail, and this is also my invention. And it is the most, most advanced, advanced and best, best uh, monolateral, monolateral external, external fixator, fixator that does it from, from the side. side. It, it is more, more applicable, applicable like, to the thigh bone, bone, the femur bone, bone, bone. See, there's, there's the hip, hip there's, there's the knee. knee. Uh, uh, so, so it's, it's more, more applicable, applicable to the femur bone, bone where you've got more soft tissue. The other the one is more applicable to the lower leg. And, and these, these are, are also used, used in the upper, upper extremity. extremity. So, so, for example, the ring, ring device, device is more applicable in the forearm, and the, the uh, monolateral device is more applicable in the upper, upper arm. arm. So, so, again, again for the same, same reason. When you've got, got more soft tissues, tissues all around, around the monolateral is easier to use. use. When you've you got, got uh, less, less soft tissues, tissues such as the forearm or lower leg, leg then the ring device has the advantage. The ring device is better at forming a correction than it is. Now, that's kind of the... That, that was, was the state, state of the art, the art until a while, a while ago. ago, and then, and then what, what came in next, next was, was this. So, so now, now we, we have, have internal, internal devices. devices. The internal, internal devices, devices go inside, inside the, bone. the bone. So, so no, no longer need to wear these, these external, external devices, devices that go, go through, through the skin, skin through the muscle, muscle and, and so on. on. But we, but we now, now have these implantable, implantable devices. devices. And, and this is one such device. This is called... The, the uh, uh, precise, precise nail, nail. Uh, and, and there's, there's really, really several, several of these devices. The precise, precise nail, nail. Uh, uh, this is the precise, precise two, two which, which I developed, developed. And, and then there's, there's a new one called, called the stride nail, nail which, which I also developed. developed. Uh, and, there's and there's a new, a new one, one coming, coming out soon called, called the grow plate, plate which, which, which instead, instead of going, going inside, inside the bone, will go on the surface of the bone. And that's kind of the latest technology. They also fit in the lower leg, so this is tibia and fibula. And, and I, I, I'm not sure if you can see, see there's, there's like, like a, a silver or gray uh, device, device inside, inside this, this, this bone, bone, which is made, made of plastic, plastic and, and, and has been made, made translucent, translucent so you can, you can see what's inside. inside. As, you, As know, you know, bone is not, not translucent. translucent. It, it has, has screws at each end. end. It's, it's a telescopic, telescopic device. device. And it, it allows, um, you know, it allows a mechanism from the outside. This is a magnetic motor. So you apply a... Magnetic, magnetic field, field on, the on the outside, outside that spins, spins and, it and it turns the magnetic, magnetic motor, motor on the inside. So it lengthens a set amount, amount depending on, on what you set, set it to. So, and so yeah, yeah. one thing. Let, can you take off your headphones? That might help with the echo. I don't know. Would you still be able to hear me if you took off your headphones? Uh, if, uh, if I put, put on, on the sound, sound sure. sure. Try that. Let's see what happens. Okay, one, one second. second. Is that what you wanted me to do, sir? Take off his headphones. Can you hear me? How's, How's that, Brad? Brad? I can hear you. Um, somebody will. Uh, somebody, I'm sure, will comment whether or not uh, 
the 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 audio is well, on. Second, I, 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 I don't, don't have, have you on speaker, speaker Doctor Paley. So, so let, let me see, see if, if I can turn, turn the speaker on. on. What happened? His audio is gone. So he um, has to have the headphones on. Yeah. Okay. I can't hear you, Doctor Paley. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm here, here but okay. it, I hear you now. I, found, I, I think I, I found, found it. it. I hear you now. Okay. Now I can hear you. Hopefully you can hear me. Okay. How's that? Um, Is that better? better? Yes. Yeah, so, so we've gone from the outside in. Correct. Um, and then that's, that's kind, kind of the latest, latest in technology. technology. When did when it, did you when did you do that? When is it in 2015? When did you go from the outside in? So, so, you know, I always, always feel, feel when once you give credit, credit to the original inventors, inventors interestingly, interesting, the very, very first guy I did this was 1983, 1983 if you believe it, in, in, in Ukraine. Ukraine. Uh, at that the time, time also the Soviet Union. Union. Uh, he, uh, he was a friend, friend of mine, mine. And then uh, after, after that, that came, came a French, French surgeon, surgeon. And then after, after that, uh, an American surgeon uh, who created, created the first, first FDA approved device. device. This, this device. device which, which uh, uh, this, this device, device precise, precise nail, nail came, came out in 2011, 2011. And, and it is kind of, kind of the newest generation, generation. And, and it has, has had improvements since 2011. Uh, we've, uh, we've put, put in thousands, thousands of these now. now. <coughs> we have a large, large experience in the world with, 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 with these. these. And, 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 the and the improvements that have occurred, occurred with this is we went from, from uh, the precise, precise nail, nail which, which was, was a non-weight-bearing weight bearing device, device, could allow a limited weight bearing, weight bearing to, to the stride nail, nail, which now is made of a stronger, stronger material, which, which you can, can have, have a patient, patient with, with one, one of these nails, nails in each uh, femur, femur, or even, even both femurs, both, femurs, both tibias, tibias, and they, and they could, could be walking, walking around, around you, wouldn't you know, know they have, have the device in them. them. They don't they need crutches, they don't need anything. So we've really advanced in this technology, making it so strong that even though they have broken bones that separated by a few inches, uh, both, both above and below the knee, they have four of these inside. inside. Uh, uh, they're, they're walking, walking around, around with you. Do you even uh, use the external devices anymore? We, we do. There's, There's still reasons. So, so first, first of all, these devices uh, are limited, limited in how, how small they get. get. So for, for really small children, we need, we need the external. external. Uh, these, these devices, as I mentioned, mentioned are limited, limited in... Um, Deformity, deformity corrections, corrections. So if you've got, got a really, really crooked, crooked bone that needs to be straightened and lengthened, length, you need the, the, the ring, ring device. device. Uh, there, I, I just put two, two of those monolaterals on this week because, because the kids had uh, no, no hip, hip joint. joint. So, so these, these devices, devices depend, depend on, on having, having a stable, stable joint at either, either end of the bone, uh, while, while the external device can, can kind of be, uh, it can, can span joints, joints which this device, device can't. Can. Now, now eventually, this device will be able to do all of that. that. So, so there are newer and newer models of this um, being developed that will get small enough that you, you can put, put it into facial bones, bones when, when some people need lengthening of, you know, to move, move their jaw forward, or some people need hand bones, bones lengthened, lengthened, you know, uh, foot, foot bones. bones. Those, those are really tiny bones. bones. So, so there's, there's there's new devices on the horizon, probably in the next two three years, that will, will be miniaturized to the point that you can, can implant <coughs> a lengthening device inside, inside the hand or inside the foot, foot uh, or on the face uh, through, through tiny, tiny incisions, incisions that, that can do the lengthening. So, so we're, we're really, really moving into, into very exciting territory. territory. I know uh, we talked earlier about <laughs> you showing us around around <laughs> the office and. And I'd like to plant a seed for you, and, and you just tell me what you think. I think um, the stuff you're doing is so um, progressive. I would love for um, one of, uh, like, Christy to, to, to just sit in your waiting room and talk to your patients on Doc Talk Live and let them just share their stories about, about, about before and after and how this technology has affected them. Well, it's, it's definitely, definitely an experience sitting, sitting in my waiting, waiting room, room. Um, <coughs> both because a lot of times you sit there a long, long time, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> and I apologize for that in advance. Uh, and, 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 and the reason it is because I'm a softie, and uh, patients are always calling and getting squeezed in at last minute, which means that we see more patients than we really should, because we don't want to make people wait. 
but, but they, they wait, wait in, in terms, terms of time, time not in terms of getting an appointment. Uh, but the, the second, second really exciting aspect, aspect I, tell I tell every patient, patient no, matter no matter how, how bad, bad their condition, if they, they sit in my waiting room, room they see someone worse off than them. Yeah. And um, we, we see, see the worst of the worst. worst. We, we also have, have um, this is not our only office, we have we have a center in Europe, and um, we've, we've opened, opened up an office in Warsaw, Warsaw Poland, Poland, where we see patients coming from, coming from all over Europe. Europe. We, see we see a lot, a lot of Europeans here, here too. Um, we, we see patients, patients just, just to give you an idea, from, from 95, 95 different, different countries that come, come here, here, and from, from all 50 states. states. We also, um, you know, know see, a, like, like I said, a lot of internationals uh, in, in our. European, European office, Paleo European, European Institute. Institute. What is uh, what is your most common patient? Uh, me, me per, so, so first of all, all, you know, I'm not the only surgeon, surgeon here. We're now up to 11, 11 surgeons, and I think, I think by summer, summer we'll be 14 surgeons. surgeons. Um, the for, for me personally, the most, most common, common things I treat are kids with birth defects, defects uh, where, where <coughs> um, someone, someone has uh, one. one limb shorter than the other from birth, or one, one limb that's very deformed from birth. I also, I also see a lot of patients who need stature lengthening. lengthening. Um, so, so these are patients either from dwarfism that are very short and then they need both limb lengthen, or also cosmetic patients, patients who choose to become taller uh, because of their unhappiness with their height and they, they do it as a cosmetic procedure. Um, so, so we, we see, see a lot, lot of those type of patients. So, so it's, it's really, really a wide variety, variety from, from children, children to adults. adults. Um, and whatever, whatever application it is for limb lengthening, we, we see more of it than anyone in the world. world. Um, and uh, that's, that's, that's what's, what's unique here. here. I mean, we, we, we m limb lengthening is, is not just available, available here. here. It's, it's available, available all over the United States, States and all over the world. world. But it's, it's um, there's, there's a lot, lot of potential pitfalls and complications, and, and so experience is really, really important. And there's no, no center that comes even, even close. close. There's, there's no center in the entire world, world that has, has one tenth of my experience with one like that. Well, we've seen that, 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 that uh, <coughs> orthopedists do a, a variety of orthopedic procedures, but you're just focused on this one aspect, uh, which is limb lengthening. And, and reconstruction as well, I would say. Correct. And, uh, and, and you know, you know and, and that's, that's the thing. thing. Most orthopedic surgeons who will do a little bit of limb lengthening will, will do, do one, one or two cases, cases but, but it's part, part of a, you know, a larger, larger practice, practice that sees a, a wider variety of garden variety orthopedic surgery or garden variety, variety pediatric orthopedic surgery. Or orthopedic surgery. And, and, you know, you at our, our center, center, we're very focused. focused. Um, we, we also, also don't, don't, you know, the majority, majority of orthopedic practices will see anywhere, anywhere from 10, 10 to 30, 30 patients, patients for every one patient who needs surgery. We see every patient we see pretty much needs surgery, much needs surgery. Um, and um, sometimes, sometimes they need five surgeries, surgeries per patient. patient. So, so we really don't, don't have to weed through. It's, it's a very filtered, filtered practice. practice. So there are a few questions that people have written in. Let me let me see if I can uh, say some of them. Okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. There are a few questions that that people have written in. Um, Julie asked, "Do you have <coughs> advice for radial dysplasia type four on an arm for an adult with a fixed elbow that could either lengthen or reposition the fixed elbow?" So, so, we, uh, so it's, it's also, also known, known as radial uh, club, club hand uh, uh, deformity, and uh, we treat a lot of that. that. So we do a lot, lot of upper extremity surgery. surgery. In fact, in my, before, before I, I did the limb lengthening thing, 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 I actually specialized, specialized did a year of subspecialty training in hand surgery. surgery. So, so I, I, I do a lot of hand surgery, especially in congenital hand surgery. surgery. And uh, for radial dysplasia, you're dealing with the position of the hand, but it sounds like this is an adult, they've had the hand straight, although I don't know how straight it is. And then the elbow, it varies from patient to patient, whether they have 
you know, you know good, good elbow, elbow motion, motion or, or no elbow, elbow motion. motion. And, you, you know, know, a lot, a lot of, of the decision on treatment will depend on, on how good the elbow is, what position the elbow, elbow is, whether it's in a flex, flex position or straight. straight. So there's, there's a lot, lot we can do. And, and we also lengthen in, uh, the short ulna, which, ulna, which is, is the bone that's left, left behind, behind um, in order, order to, to give, give them a longer forearm. So there's, there's a lot we do. I published a lot of papers on this. By the way, that's one of the things that is, you know, hallmark here is that, that, you know, I have several hundred publications, including books, uh, journals, articles, peer-reviewed, not under-reviewed, and so on, uh, you know, medical, medical literature, lay literature, literature, et cetera. And so we, we, we pride ourselves on, even though we're no, I'm no longer at a university, I used to be a full professor at a university in Maryland, I used to be at a university of Toronto, I was a professor. Uh, I do, do have, have academic appointments at FAU and at the University of Vermont, Vermont. but the important, important thing, thing is, this is, is we're, we're actually in a community hospital, hospital in a beautiful, beautiful location in West Palm Beach, Beach. but we, we continue to do academic pursuits. We, we publish, we present at meetings, we're leaders in our field, so we are still very academic, which means that we continue to do research here, and so we're not just doing surgery, we're following up, we're making sure that we're we're doing it at the highest level, level and that we're learning, learning from, from what, what we're doing and improving all the time. time. So I have a, there's a couple more questions here. Roseanne <coughs> asks, um, my niece will be the limb length, will be limb lengthening this summer, upper and lower. She's 12 years old with hypochondrodysplasia. How right. do kids tolerate this psychologically? Do you have therapists on hand? Do they feel like it is torture? <laughs> Great, Great question. So, so you know, you know I've, I've treated um, literally, literally hundreds, hundreds of kids with, with achondroplasia and, and hypochondroplasia. Those, Those are the two, two most common types of dwarfism. And the, the treatment has actually advanced a lot. So in the past, we used to put four, four devices on. on. Uh, two on the lower leg, leg below the knee, knee and two on, on the thighs. thighs. And they and were the external, external devices. Uh, initially, it was kind of a ring device, device on the lower leg, leg and the, the, the monolateral device on the thighs, and then four monolateral devices. And now, all of them are these devices. devices. So we, we put, put four internal devices on these kids. kids. We don't even use the external fixers in these kids. kids. Very well tolerated. Again, Again I, don't I don't know if this is being treated by me or by someone else, uh, but, but they tolerate this extremely well. well. Uh, to, to quote one, one of my patients, it's, it's a growing experience, <laughs> but a very, very positive thing. thing. And although at one point I employed my own psychologist, we found that this was really not a critical, um, necessary um, uh, facility we needed to provide. Most of these kids are doing very well. Occasionally I'll refer a patient for psychological support, but it's rarely needed. Um, and we, we provide, provide a lot of support here within, within the institute. One of the advantages that this patient is having, having done here, here is, is that, that there will be lots of other kids of similar, similar age, age groups going going similar, similar things. things. And, and there's, there's nothing, nothing better, better than, uh, you, know, you know, peer support, peer support and, and uh, uh, seeing, seeing other, other kids, kids going, going through the same process. Um, I kind of answered this question, but I'm going to ask it to uh, say it again just because Kelly wants to know, will the internal lengthening devices be available for young children in the lower leg in the near future? So it depends, it depends on, the, on the, still, still depends, depends on size. size. They, they already, already are. are. I, mean, I mean, I'm already, I'm already doing three-year-olds with internal, internal devices. devices. Uh, there's, there's, there's a new, new device, device coming out, out that uh, I helped help develop, develop called, called the Road, Road Plate. Plate. And, and that's, that's going to change everything, everything because, because it's, it's going, going to be available, available even, even for phones, phones that, are that are incredibly short, short that we can't, that we can't, be, can't, can't uh, currently, currently fit, fit with, with the internal, internal devices. devices. So, so uh, possibly, possibly as short as, short as two to three, three inches long, long meaning, meaning the bone, bone is. is. Um, and that, and will, that will be available, be available in our hands, hands by July. July. Um, Going back to that um, elbow question, that elbow radial dysplasia, um, let's see here. Uh, Julie writes back, no elbow flexion, stuck at right angle. Does that mean, does okay. that mean anything? Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, so, so this, patient this patient has an, has an elbow, elbow fusion. fusion. And, and um, 
It really, it really depends, depends if they've always, always had the elbow fusion, fusion or if it results in after treatment. treatment. Uh, uh, there's, there's absolutely, absolutely no, no joint, joint there. there. Um, we, have we have done, done um, in, in, in certain, certain patients, patients there are candidates for what's called, called an elbow, elbow, elbow allograft, where, where we can actually, actually replace, replace the elbow on the younger person with a with cadaver, cadaver elbow. elbow. That's, a, That's procedure a procedure I developed. I developed. Um, and, and other patients, other patients can't, can't do that. Do that. Um, at, at right, right angle, angle, if it's, if only, it's only one elbow, elbow is not, not the optimal angle for an elbow. elbow. And, and therefore, therefore um, um, we, we will sometimes, sometimes cut the, cut bone, the bone there and straighten, straighten it a bit, a bit so, so it has a better, better reach, reach especially, especially if there's, if there's an, an opposite normal elbow. elbow. Stacy writes in, with achondroplasia, how many surgeries are required and what is the expected height increase? So, so uh, uh, for, for achondroplasia, which is the most common, common kind of dwarfism, of dwarfism the, the, um, it, it really, really depends, depends what patient is willing, willing to go through. through. But the patients who are willing, willing to, to, so because, so, you, know, you, know, you know, most recently, most recently there's, there's a new drug, drug for achondroplasia, but it's but not out of clinical trials, trials yet. So ultimately, surgery is going to get replaced by drug therapy, at least partially. Uh, um, in the in interim, term, uh, we're still, still lengthening a lot of patients with achondroplasia, and, and most, most of them we start, start first lengthening between, between age 8 and 10, 10 with, with internal, internal devices. devices. We get, we get four, 4 inches of uh, height, height increase, increase length, length. And, then and then we, we do, do the next, next length between age 12 and 12 13, and we, and we do 5, five or 6 inches at that, that age. And then, and then we do one final, final lower length lengthening, uh, uh, typically uh, uh, at age 15, 15 or 16, 16 again, again for uh, uh, 5, five or 6 inches. inches. The advantages the of that, that are all, all internal, no external, external anymore. anymore. If you, if you add, add up those numbers, numbers you, know, you know, four, four five, five, six, six together, together. Uh, uh, so, so that, that is, is uh, 15, 15 inches. inches. We've, We've gotten, gotten up, up to 16 inches increase, increase in height, height quite, a quite a large number of patients. patients. Many, Many patients, patients don't need quite, quite that much, much. so it so really, really depends, depends on that, that individual, individual and what, and their, what prediction their prediction is, is and maturity, maturity for, for final, final adult height. height. Our, Our goal is to bring, bring patients, patients with achondroplasia or, or hypochondroplasia to, to a normal, normal adult, adult height, height for their, their sex. sex. Now, the, now, the normal, normal low end. end. So, for, so example, for example, for a, a woman, woman to, bring to bring them to five feet tall. tall. For a for man, man to bring, to bring them, them, you know, you know five, five, four, four, five, five feet tall. Now, remember, these dwarfs left untreated. Uh, are going to be, be an average, average of between, between 310 and 42. So, so it's a huge, huge improvement, improvement over, over that. That makes, makes very, very functional. functional. I've, been I've been doing, doing that and have a track, track record of achieving, achieving that, that since, since 1987 when I did, when I did my, my first work lengthening. lengthening. And, and I have, I have lots, lots and lots of patients, patients with achondroplasia 30, 30 years, years later who are, who are actually in their 30s. One of them even in their 40s. Okay. Okay. Living normal, living normal lives, lives. and I'm not, I'm not altering, altering their, their genetics. genetics. They still they have, have a kind of gene, gene, but their, but their, function, their function, their appearance, their appearance and, so and so on is basically, basically normal. Do you have to do this when they're children, or can you do adults? You can do, you can adults, do adults. You're a little, little more, more limited, limited in total, total amount. amount. Like getting adults, adults are not going to read to read through, through as many as many procedures. The kids, kids must, must it, it, for achondroplasia, kids, kids muscles, muscles are really, really loose, loose, so you can so get, you away, get away with larger, larger lengthening, lengthening, and adults, adults are a little, are a little more limited. limited. Uh, having, having, having said that, that you know, you know, adults, uh, uh, you basically, basically do, do two, two lengthenings, lengthenings and, and we end up, up with, with probably uh, in the neighborhood of between, between six, six eight, eight inches of increased height. And then Ellen asks, what are the complications associated with limb length? <laughs> So, so there's, there's a, a long, long potential, potential list, list of complications with limb lengthening, lengthening. lengthening. But, but the most, the most important, important thing to recognize, to recognize is that, is that the, um, <coughs> in the in hands, hands of a very, very experienced, experienced limb lengthener, lengthener who has the infrastructure to support limb length, meaning, meaning the, the physical therapy, therapy, the appropriate type of physical, physical therapy, therapy support, support, the appropriate type, type of follow-up, follow -up, the experience to recognize, to recognize problems, problems before, before they, they develop. develop. Remember, remember everything is happening, happening in slow motion, motion. You're you're length very, very slowly. slowly. Um, um, most, most complications are avoided, avoided prevented, prevented, or the, the you know, you know uh, or, or neutralized, neutralized by, by treating, treating them. them. 
So, so what are the, what kind, are the of kind of problems? Look, look, you, you uh, can, can have the bone, bone healing, healing too quickly or too slowly, slowly and there are, there are ways, ways of adjusting that. that. Most, Most of the time, time does not require additional surgery, surgery to fix that. that. You, can you can develop, develop muscle, muscle tightness, tightness and, that's and that's why all of, all of, all of, all of our patients going through, through this, this are going, going through daily, daily physical therapy. therapy. Which, which most centers, centers don't, don't have available, available specialized, specialized type of limb length therapy. therapy. So, I, so won't I won't take cases, cases on, on unless, unless they stay here for several, several months and undergo therapy, therapy during, during the length. length. So, so for example, example a, a uh, you know, you know, three-inch three lengthening, lengthening takes, takes uh, uh, four, four months, months to go through. To go through. So that patient, that patient needs, needs to stay, stay here for those, those four, four months. months. Now, if we're, now lengthening we're lengthening the upper and lower, and lower segment, segment, sometimes, sometimes we're, we're going to get twice that length. length. We're, we're lengthening, lengthening both, both levels in the in same, same period of time. time. So sometimes, sometimes we're getting, we're getting up, up six, six inches, inches or so, or so on, on in, in that, that four, four months. months. But they have they to stay here. Patient says to me, look, I'm going to have the surgery that I'm going to go home. We'll tell them to go to another lung lung center. It's irresponsible to do that. They need to stay here. They need to have therapy. They need to have follow-up. And, and only under those, those conditions, conditions, you know, you know can, can I, I guarantee that we're going to get as close, close to a perfect result as possible. possible. So I, I want to remind you to give us a tour of the Paley Institute. Um, sure, sure. And maybe as you get up, I want to plant this question. Kelly asks, is stem cell therapy ever used in conjunction with the lengthening procedure to enhance so, results? So, so honestly, honestly, stem cell, stem cell therapy... therapy is the biggest, the biggest marketing, marketing sham that there, there exists, exists right, right now, and, and very, very few evidence-based, based, uh, uh, documented, positive use of it, of it. And, right and right now, now in our, our field, field has zero, zero role. role. Excellent. Okay. Thank you for uh, that. <laughs> uh, we've, we've actually done some uh, some t doc talks on stem cell therapy, and 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 I that's a very good summary that the. the the um, well, I'm getting, getting get get out now and give you guys, you guys a tour. tour. Um, so, so I would, I would be better, better if my assistants, assistants kind of film, film me, me as, as I walk, walk or, or if I hold it. Um, try it. Um, try having your assistants film you. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna so have, have uh, uh my my you, you probably, probably should face, face the, the other, other way. way. Um, let me let me let me reverse, reverse this. this. Not sure, not sure how we flip the camera. camera. <laughs> nope, nope. All right, we're, we're, just, we're just trying to figure, figure this out right now. Right now. Um, <laughs> and reverse, reverse the camera. camera. Remember those Google glasses? We need those Google glasses now. Um, okay, okay. We, we, I did it, but my assistant said, I'm, I'm wearing, wearing my headset so you can hear me. Hear me. Um, so we're so going gonna, gonna, we're gonna to work, work our, our way through, through the institute. The institute. This, 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 this area, area down here, here so we're so actually starting, starting at my office. office. And, and this area, area down, down here is, is um, the operating, operating room. room. So these, so these entrances we have, we have our own, own operating, operating room for the Paleo Institute. Institute. Uh, there, there are the same Mary's, Mary's Medical, Medical Center. Center. This, this area, area is 12, 12 operating room rooms. rooms. I can't keep you in there, in there uh, uh, right, right now. now. But, um, you know, just, just give you an idea. idea. We, we, we have 12 of our own operating rooms. And we're going to go upstairs where most of the action is. And... So let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. One day I want you to take us into the operating room. <laughs> it's just a regular, just a regular operating, operating room. room. Just what, just what we do, we do there, there is special. Well, uh, yeah, and I want to see the special. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, so so um, we're in a two-floor two, two two building, building, building both, both that have, have a walkout, walk so they're so both, both kind of on a hill. hill so it, 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 uh, uh, both both the levels, levels are, are at ground, ground level. level. And now, and now we're up in the, up clinic, in the clinic area, area and I'll take you through, through it. it. So, so we'll, we'll start, we'll start, we'll start here, here uh, at our at registration, registration desk. desk. Uh, uh, so show, so them. show them. So we, so we celebrate, celebrate diversity, diversity, we celebrate, we celebrate where, where our patients come, come from. from. You'll see we'll the see flag for clinic, clinic. Uh, from, from all various countries and states. 
uh, that we receive safe patients from. from. Uh, uh, and, and like, like I said, said, we, we, we to, us, to us, that's really, really important. important. Um, um, walk, walk in here. here. We have we patients here from, from all over this waiting, waiting room. room. Uh, and, and one, one, of, the one of the aspects of this, of this is, is that language, language helps help. I speak to you different, different languages. languages. And, and uh, so, so a lot, a lot of, these of these patients uh, come from, from all over. over. I, mean, I mean, I'm looking, looking in here, here and I see, you know, patients, patients from Italy, Italy and patients, patients from, from various, various uh, Middle Eastern, Eastern countries, countries and a variety, a variety of other European, European countries, countries are sitting in our waiting, waiting room right now. now. Let me, let me okay, tell okay. you about one of your patients. Um, to give, give you an idea, idea actually, where, where patients, patients come, come from, this, this map, map uh, will show you, you uh, our, patients our patients come, come from, from, you know, you know quite, quite <laughs> literally, literally every, every continent, continent except, except Antarctica. Antarctica. Hey, Dr. Uh, Paley, one of your patients yeah, yeah. Um, writes in, my two-year-old son has F8. Can you ask him to explain how much more important joint correction is than the actual length of the portion? Sure. Well, sure. well that's what your story is that we addressed earlier. That earlier. And, and in, 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 in F8, for example, for example the important thing is the first, first operation, operation which is the Franco procedure. procedure. So that's what so I was trying to explain to you earlier. To you earlier. So before, before, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth developed a method of lengthening, lengthening but it didn't address, it didn't address how, to how to fix these very deformed, twisted feet that had all kinds of problems. So, so what I what developed, I developed over, the years, over the years is all the support support procedures, procedures to reconstruct, to reconstruct the, foot the foot and ankle for for hemimelia uh, to, uh, to reconstruct the, the knee. Sometimes sometimes in hemimelia, sometimes in kids born with short femur, femur uh, to reconstruct the hip and hip and congenital femoral deficiency and so on and so on and so on and so on. And as we as reconstruct the way you had you had a question about radio or radio radio deficiency, all of those required operations that didn't exist before. So probably. One of, one of my biggest, biggest contributions, contributions over the years, over the years has, been, has been developing all, all these supportive supportive features, features uh, to, reconstruct to reconstruct all of these all joints, joints, joints uh, for uh, all of these other conditions. conditions. And that's and what that's makes what lengthening, lengthening possible. possible. You have to prepare <laughs> the, joints the joints and the limb, and the limb for the lengthening. For the lengthening. Before, Before the lengthening, the lengthening used, to used to fail because, because the foot and ankle the weren't, corrected weren't corrected in, in fibular hemimelia or the knee wasn't corrected in congenital femoral deficiency or the hip wasn't corrected in congenital femoral deficiency. The wrist wasn't corrected properly and radio and so on and so on and so on and so on. So, uh, uh, so yes, so yes, the critical, the critical first, first lengthening, lengthening comes, after, comes after, that. after that. Thank you. Let's continue the tour. <laughs> All right. So, All right, this, so I mean, this, I mean, this, this is, uh, like I was saying, like I was saying we, we, get we get from 90 from 95 different countries. countries. Um, um, our, our modern, modern version, version of our push pin, push pin map, map is, is, is this is map. And, you know, this yeah, map, this map uh, patients can actually online load up load up their information. Let's go to Ghana here. Here, here's a patient from Ghana with team. Has entered, has entered his parents, has parents has entered information, information and, and he has this, he has condition, this condition with his leg, leg, leg and, and then and then it has it has it has it a has whole, whole um, um, story, story about the theme, theme that people can people scroll, can scroll down. down. So this is so in our, our clinic, it's also online, online. And, and uh, you know, you know, so this, so this, this is this is digital, digital version, version of our push pin push map. Pin map. Okay. Okay. Down here is our entrance hallway, and what you're seeing is these are these are very very surgeons. Dr. Cantor, Cantor, Frida, Frida. You see here, you see here, Dr. Dr. They're all fine, fine surgeons. Surgeons, Dr. Dr. Mina, Mina, who's our joint replacement extending cartilage preservation surgeon. Dr. Lamb, who's our foot and ankle reconstruction surgeon. There's myself, There's myself uh, uh, Dr. Feldman, Dr. Feldman, who is a pediatric, who is a pediatric torture, torture surgeon who does, who does a lot of, a lot of complex, complex uh, lower limb reconstruction as well as, as well as scoliosis. Uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Robbins, Robbins, again, who does again, a lot, does a lot of things, things I do. I do. Dr. Shalero, Dr. Shalero, Dr. Shalero, Dr. Shalero, Dr. Shalero, and Dr. Shannon, who's the most recent person to join us. And she's, she does, she does lengthening and reading and reconstruction like I do. And there's actually one more, one more Dr. Shalero, Dr. Shalero, the spine, spine surgery. surgery. So all of these, so all surgeons, of these surgeons uh, uh, um, are, are here, here 
really providing, providing unique, unique care, care. And all and of these, all of these are, are what medical, I call medical tourism, tourism services. In other words, we don't, we don't rely, rely just on, just on referrals, referrals from the local, from local area, area, but also, but also on referrals, on referrals from, from out, out, of, out, of, out, of, out of out of county, out of, county, out of state, out of, state, out of, out of country. country. And, and uh, the patients, uh, patients are coming, are coming from, from all over the world, the world all of these very unique surgeons. surgeons. I call them I call the dream team of orthopedics. Um, um, so, so <laughs> we'll walk down, down here, here um, um, and we're going to move, gonna move to, our to our physical therapy, therapy area. area. So this so is so we have we have our own uh, rehabilitation area. Uh, area. Uh, you can uh, see you can down see there, down there uh, uh, one child, one child who's just completed, just completed some some something, something in, in in rehab, rehab and they're celebrating, celebrating that. that. It's their last it's their day. Last so day. Last so day. last day. They get to ring that bell over there. You can see. You can see. So he just rang that bell. That's what all that commotion was. That's awesome. We walk through our physical therapy department. So, so, like I said, like we, we PT is a huge thing, thing here. here. We do we do about 120 PTs, PTs a day. day. We have about 30, 30 therapists, therapists work at the institute. At the institute. And, and uh, uh, there's a lot of various equipment. This is kind of the big open, open gym. gym. And then there's a lot of private PT rooms. And patients here are having a variety of pediatric and adult physical therapy. Everything from joint replacement to limb lengthening and reconstruction. Uh, you know, you know, conditions, conditions that vary. That vary uh, um, you know, you know. For example, for example, right here, right here is one of our patients from Russia, from Russia who, who you don't mind you me don't introducing, mind introducing Lisa. Lisa. Sure, sure. So Lisa, so Lisa, Lisa my one of my patients from a long, from a long time, time ago, and she's and she's from Russia. From Russia. She's, undergoing she's undergoing limb lengthening. She has, she has. You see us? You see us? Actually, turn back, turn the, back other the other way. So she has she has the scars from her external external fixator way back then, but. But now she's now undergoing, she's undergoing, undergoing with, the with the internal device. device. You don't see you anything, don't anything because the, because device, the device is inside her bone. Her bone. So, so uh, Lisa, Lisa, this, this is her last lengthening. lengthening. She's, a she's a teenager now, now. Finish, finish. and she just and she finished, finished, finished her lengthening. What is she so working she's, on she's, in therapy? What is she doing in PT? So when we walked in, I don't know, know, know if she was bending her knee, she was lying face down, and they were working on her knee motion. So that's the that's the the knee is the hardest part of therapy when you when you're lengthening your thigh. So she's lengthening her femur bone, bone, thigh bone, thigh bone, and and you know she you know she was working on bending. Her knee. her knee because the because muscles, the muscles get, really get really tight. So you can see, so you can see she's, she's doing, doing it herself, herself right, now. right now. A moment, a ago, moment ago, the therapist was doing, was doing it for her. So the muscles would have to lengthen with the bone. Correct. Correct. And that's, and part that's part of, of so we've so only discussed the regeneration, regeneration of, the bone, of the bone, but you, but have, you have, have to regenerate everything. everything. The, the muscles, the skin, the, skin, the nerves, the blood vessels, blood vessels everything, everything has to regenerate, has to regenerate when you're lengthening. When you're lengthening. And, and, and so she's, so she's, she's undergoing, she's undergoing that, process. that process. And, and again, and again, you know, so you know, she was so born she was with a condition called congenital femoral deficiency, which is, which is a congenitally short thigh bone. And her hip very very deformed to begin with. So my first operation on her. Back, back in, back in I think 2009 was to, was to uh, or eight, uh, or eight, uh, 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 yeah, 2008, 2008 was, to, was reconstruct to reconstruct her hip, her hip and, and uh, I had to, uh, do, had that to do that before I could lengthen her leg. Her leg. Her leg. So she had so the she hip had reconstruction, reconstruction, and then and then you know you know uh, then I did, then her, I did her, first her first lengthening, and and we got we got a lot of patients now coming out from Russia. I think she was one of our first coming from Russia way back then. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, funny. it's, it's funny. funny. This started, started in, in the Soviet, Soviet, Soviet Union, Union in Russia, and now, and now we, we get so get many Russians, Russians coming, coming here, here because, because they haven't, they really, haven't advanced really advanced that much, that much in this field, in this field. Uh, uh, since, since the 1980s, the 1980s and, the and the advances that we've made, we've made you know, in the last, know, in the last 30, years, 30 years have, have <laughs> you know, you know, uh, uh, leapfrog uh, ahead really, of really pretty much pretty everyone, much everyone around, the around the world with respect, with respect to, to limb lengthening, limb lengthening and, and deformity correction, and correction especially, with, especially with, with birth defects and genital, genital problems. I mean, I mean, over there, over there, there's a patient of Dr. Feldman who, who has, who has arthros arthros arthrosis. arthrosis. And, and this is, this is, <laughs> um, where are you coming, where are you from? coming from? Mongolia. 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 Okay. Okay. So, so, um, so, so, you know, you know, she's an example of a patient 
coming, uh, coming uh, you know, equally, you know, equally, even further, even further than, uh, than uh, Moscow, Moscow, which are other Russian, Russian, Russian came from, came from, from, coming from, from uh, Central, Central Asia, Central Asia, Mongolia, Mongolia. And, uh, and, uh, you know, she, you know, she's being reconstructed by Dr. David Feldman, who is a world-renowned expert, probably the world-renowned expert in the treatment of arthritis, which is a rare and very, very complicated and debilitating pediatric orthopedic condition. That was just phenomenal. I, I appreciate you showing us this I mean, so I mean, all of these, all rooms, of these rooms, as you can see, you can have, see patients have patients from, from you know, under, you know, undergoing, undergoing therapy, therapy today. Therapy today. Uh, we're just, uh, we're just, you know, this you is, know, this is day a in the day in the life. Type <laughs> type <laughs> type <laughs> you know, you know. Uh, oh, here's, uh, oh, here's, here's, a, here's a great example. Can we, can we, can we show you show your arms? Sure, sure. Um, where are you guys? Um, where from? are you guys from? California. California. So here we so have a young man, young who, man has who has that model of device, device lengthening, both, lengthening arms. both arms. Okay. Okay. Uh, for uh, type, for of type of dwarfism. dwarfism. And and you know over you know, here, over here, this young this man, young has, man has, has that model that model of device. device. For for um, um, and he's and he's uh, from uh, from uh, the Persian. Uh, the Persian he's, he's, he's from he's from I think UAE. I think UAE uh, and he's uh, and he's uh, uh, he's uh, uh, I was going to say Persian Gulf area. area. So we get a lot of get a lot of from uh, from uh, 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 the Gulf countries. The Gulf countries. Um, and he's um, and having he's a special having a special lengthening, lengthening of his femur with with the monolateral, monolateral device. device. So you, so, you know someone you know, someone was asking we stop we using the external external fixator and the answer and the answer means no means it means still still you, you, customize you customize the treatment, treatment to, the to the patient. Every patient, Every patient has, unique, has needs, unique needs, and and we're always going to still need all of these all different, of these implants. different um, implants. In our case, in our we case, happen we happen to have developed, developed them all, um, um, which is, is kind of neat. Kind of neat, but, but um, you know, and you know, and uh, you need you need to be able to have all the tools available in the tool chest. So we're, so we're now going to walk, gonna over, walk over, to over to the clinic here. Clinic this, is here. this is still there. You, you, you can see one of our patients, of our patients here, from, here from New York area, New York area who is undergoing, undergoing uh, uh, various, various physical physical therapy. therapy. Uh, and, and we're going to walk we're gonna over, walk to, the over clinic, to the clinic area. Um, um, we have our own, we have our own obviously cast room, cast room and, and you know all the you usual, usual things you find in any orthopedic clinic. I'm kind of passing a lot of various areas. This is our... Clinic area. clinic area, and it's actually and decorated, it's actually decorated with, with a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, medical, uh, medical illustrations, illustrations from various books and journal and articles, articles that, that I've written. I've written. Um, um, these are all these various, various, various special operations, operations that, that I've published, uh, published and, developed. and developed. These are the these various, are the various uh, uh, exam rooms, exam rooms where, patients where patients are seen. Are seen. And and uh, it's interesting. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, uh, our patients, our really patients really like looking at the medical art. I mean, I mean, for example, for this condition, congenital congenital tibia, which which I published a published a big article, big article uh, a year ago. Uh, a year ago, we changed we the changed whole way the that whole way that condition is being treated. Treating. Treated. This is where this is where it came with the born with the leg, which would never would heal. Never heal. And people have tried people operating, have tried operating on, this on this. Success rates, success rates uh, barely barely reach fifty percent. Our success rates are hundred percent. percent. We've never failed. We've never failed to get one to heal. And they've never been broken. So so the technique for that has been established now. Doctors are able to reduce our results. So on so on. We. We've published, published, published uh, uh, various various classifications. classifications. So for, example, so for example, this is for that condition, condition I mentioned. I mentioned general thermal, general thermal deficiency. deficiency. You know, you know, so there are different, so there are types, different types, and, and, and every one of these types, one of these types different is a different treatment. treatment. So, so our patients, patients direct treatment. Direct treatment. So so we've published, we've published the, the treatment, treatment for every one of these, one of these various types. Various types. Um, um, and, 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 and so this and helps guide not just us, but other surgeons how to treat how to treat You mentioned you mentioned FA or hemimelia. So so this is the this classification, is the classification we've, published we've published in articles, uh, in articles on hemimelia. There are various, are various types, types, each type, each has, type a has a different treatment. We've published, published various those various treatments. So this way, so this way patients, patients uh, doctors, doctors know, know what they're in for, what kind of treatment. Kind of treatment. It's, not just, it's not just length the length limb. the limb. It's, it's, there's various there's deformities and various ways of fixing the foot in this, the knee in the other one, and so on. 
we've we've also we've done, also done impossible, impossible things, things that people didn't think were possible, possible like, taking like taking hips from hips from more common more conditions, like conditions like per disease, disease, and, disease and, and figuring out ways, ways to ways take a hip, a hip that got formed, that got formed into, into a, a uh, almost an egg almost shape or shape or saddle shape and putting it back putting it back and eventually making it into a spherical hip so that so we prolong the life of the hip of the hip and and if we do a lot of do a lot of joint preservation instead of joint replacement. So there's so a lot there's of very lot unique, unique treatments treatment being, treatment being done at this clinic. clinic. Uh, here's uh, another here's one of these rare, rare diseases. diseases. This, one this one occurs one in a million, a million births. births. Tibial hemimelia. And, and, you know, and, you know, it goes through, it the, goes through the various types, types that we've published. published. And every one of those, one of those types we've published, published basically how you, how you, how you treated, how you solved, how you solved the problem. And that's our approach to, you know, to all these various diseases. We take these diseases one at a time and publish Solutions, and publish solutions for them, for them, and, them and we, we apply, apply those. Apply those, and you and, know, patients you know, who patients want the most experience, experience and the most and the most likely likelihood of success, success for these for these conditions. conditions. You know, and you know, finding, and a, way finding a way to get here and to, and to uh, uh, have these treatments. And that's why and that's why they're not just coming from, from local area. Local area, because these are rare these conditions. Are rare conditions. We, wouldn't have we wouldn't have enough patients from the, from the local area. Local area. So they're coming. So they're coming from, from, all from over the world, world for that. For that. On, a, on a personal level, um, do you have kids? Do you have your own kids? I do. I, I do. Three I have three grown kids, and one stepson, and, one and, and, uh, and uh, one grand, one granddaughter. <laughs> and, and, and what do you do with your spare time? Well, I just, well, got, I just back got back from, back from three, weeks three weeks of skiing. Of skiing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, so, I so I keep myself busy, busy uh, both, uh, both uh, athletically, athletically uh, bike uh, riding, bike riding uh, skiing, uh, skiing uh, working uh, out in the gym. gym, the gym and, uh, and uh, I keep myself, I keep myself uh, busy, uh, busy as far as, far as uh, uh, reading, uh, reading and, and history. history. Uh, are, you, uh, are you a Maple Leafs fan? No, I'm not. No, a big I'm not a big fan. sports fan. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll point everybody. You're from Toronto, I am, right? Yes, but yes, that's the worst that's the team worst possible. Team possible. Um, <laughs> um, although they're having a good year this year. This year. Um, um, the, the, I'm, not I'm not a big fan. sports okay, fan. I, I, I prefer I, I to prefer play to rather, play than, rather watch. than watch. Yeah, me too. Me too. I prefer to play rather than watch. Um, is there? I want to thank you for coming on. Is there more you you want to show us or or? No, listen, no, there's, listen. There's, there's, there's always there's more. Always more interesting. Interesting. I'll show you one. I'll show you one last thing. Okay. So, so, so our patients so our love, patients this, love wall. this wall. This wall. This wall shows. shows all these patients, all these patients and, they all, and they all they all compete, they all compete to get their together picture, on the wall on the wall and so and we so we, we feature our patients, our patients uh, at their request, at their request and with their permission, with their permission you know where you they're from, from, from what you know they all, you know, they all being love being part of this, part of this. And so, and so you know a big feature, big feature of our, of our center, center is, is just, feel, just a feeling, a of feeling of belonging, feeling, feeling of, of hope, hope, of future, of future of success, of success, and, and, of, of, and of, of family. Of family. So this is so one this large is one family. Large family. Uh, it's a very uh, unique, very place. unique place. Place. amazing, staff. amazing staff. Have, have, uh, uh, about 90, about staff 90 staff who work very, work hard, very hard, to hard to support all these all patients. These patients. And, that's, and that's not including, including the hospital, the hospital staff. staff. There's another 250 of those who support them when they're in the hospital, in the operating room, and so on. So it's a great place. I would imagine a lot of these patients can't really afford the treatment you're offering. How do you how, how do you work with them financially and, and their governments? How does that all work? Well, so, well, so most, of the, most US of the U.S. patients are covered, are covered, by, covered by some, some, some type insurance. of insurance, uh, and, uh, for them, and for them, their challenge is more travel, travel and accommodation. And, accommodation. and, in, and fact, in fact, we do, for we do those for those with financial, with financial need, need. We do have, we do have a, a, a thing called the unlimited, unlimited foundation, limited, limited L I M B. Um, um, and the and used to be called the Foundation. We changed the name recently. And they and patients can apply for financial aid to that. That's for non medical support. The international International patients, patients, you know, they you know, the are, the are not covered, not covered by insurance, by insurance. and, and uh, uh, they are they are either self pay uh, or, or uh, a lot of them lot do fundraising in their communities, communities, and a lot of them, a lot of them uh, get support from various, various foundations, foundations, like all our like Russian, all our Russian patients, patients, just about, just about um, are, are able to, able to get, various get various Russian foundations, foundations to 
uh, support, uh, support in part or whole, or whole all of their all of their health care. Uh, uh, some national some health national funds, funds like from Poland, like from, Poland from, from UK, UK from, uh, from uh, Germany, Germany, from, uh, from uh, Greece, Greece uh, uh, Slovenia, Slovenia, Croatia, Croatia and, so and so on. We'll have we'll contracts, have contracts with, with uh, to treat uh, to individual, treat individual patients. patients. So so um, um, yeah, I mean yeah, we've I mean, we've uh, we've got we've patients, done patients a lot of the a lot of the a lot of the Arab countries. They you know we work you know we work through their ministries and their and their embassies and they support their care. So we so have we have established a lot, a lot of, of uh, uh, you know you know uh, relationships, uh, relationships uh, 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 you know business you know, to business to business uh, uh, business, uh, business to consumers, consumers, consumers and so on and so on over the years over the years in order, in order to help patients, patients get, get, get through the get process. through the process. I want to thank you again for taking so much time with us. I, I'm sure this will get a lot of questions and comments, and I'll get Christy to work on those things for us. I apologize for some of the uh, technical issues. Hopefully, in my lifetime, I'll be able to work through those. <laughs> but sorry, thank sorry, you so much for what you're doing and for all the people you've helped as well. Thank you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, great okay, talking, talking to you, Brad. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.